beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Have you ever felt surrounded by forces that seem greater than you? Have you faced situations where darkness seemed to swallow all hope? You cry out for deliverance, but feel that your prayers are not being heard. At this moment, I invite you to join me on a powerful journey of prayer based on Psalm 70, where we will cry out to the Lord for urgent help and complete deliverance. Prepare your heart, open your mind, and strengthen your spirit, for we are about to enter into an intense spiritual battle where victory is already guaranteed in the name of Jesus. Let us begin our prayer by crying out for immediate help to our Almighty God, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, we prostrate ourselves before your throne of grace at this crucial moment. Just as the psalmist cried out in verse 1 of Psalm 70, we shout, O God, deliver me. Lord, make haste to help me. Lord, we recognize that without you, we are completely defenseless against the forces of darkness that surround us. Enemies rise up against us. Injustice tries to destroy us. Dangers lurk around every corner, and curses try to imprison our souls. But you, O oh God, are our refuge and fortress, our ever-present help in times of trouble. Beloved Father, just as you promptly answer David's cry, we ask that you hear us now. We know that you neither slumber nor sleep, that your ears are attentive to the cries of your children. Come, Lord, with your irresistible power, and let your manifest presence dispel all darkness, break every curse, and destroy every work of the enemy in our lives. We declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, for you are our shield and protector. We acknowledge, Father, that without your divine intervention, victory is impossible, but with your mighty hand extended over us, no giant is too great, no mountain too high, no valley too deep. You are the God who parts the Red Sea, who brings down the walls of Jericho, who shuts the mouths of lions. At this moment, we cry out for that same manifestation of power in our lives. Lord Jesus, you who have overcome the world, sin and death, we hold on to your promise that in your name, we will cast out demons. Now, with the authority you have given us, we command every evil spirit, every force of witchcraft, every influence of envy, and every curse to be broken and expelled from our lives. May your precious blood cover us from head to toe, purifying us from all spiritual contamination. Almighty God, just as you answered with fire from heaven when Elijah cried out on Mount Carmel, we ask that you respond now with your consuming fire. May it burn away every work of darkness, purify our lives, and ignite in us an unmistakable flame of passion for you. May each of us here experience such deep deliverance and such radical transformation that our lives become a living testimony of your liberating power. Father, just as the psalmist pleaded in verse 2 of Psalm 70, we also cry out, May those who seek my life be put to shame and confusion, May all who desire my ruin turn back in disgrace. Lord, you who know the hearts and intentions of all, we ask that you expose those who seek to destroy us through envy, slander, or witchcraft, and confuse their evil plans. God of justice, just as you confuse the languages at Babel, confuse now the plans of those who rise against us. May their strategies become like cobwebs before your power, easily swept away by the breath of your spirit. We declare that every tongue that rises against us in judgment, you will condemn according to your word in Isaiah 50, 4 verse 17. Holy Father, we ask that those who seek to harm us be exposed and put to shame, that their hidden actions be brought to light, not for our revenge, but for your glory and our protection. Just as you thwarted Haman's plans against Mordecai, causing him to fall into his own trap. We ask that all the schemes of our enemies be turned against them. Lord Jesus, you who disarm the powers and authorities, making a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them. On the cross, you manifested that same triumph 
in our situation. May our spiritual adversaries be disarmed and shamed, and may their accusations against us fall to the ground before your throne of grace. Holy Spirit, you who convict the world of sin, righteousness, and judgment, we ask you to work powerfully, that those who follow us may be confronted with the truth, their hearts touched and transformed. We pray not only for our protection, but also for the transformation of those who oppose us, so that they too may know your love and mercy. We trust, O oh God, that you are mighty to frustrate every evil plan. We declare that no weapon forged against us shall prosper, whether in the physical or spiritual realm. We believe that just as you turn Balaam's curse into a blessing for Israel, you can turn every attack of the enemy into an opportunity to manifest your glory in our lives. Beloved Father, as we cry out for justice, we remember Jesus' words to love our enemies. So, even as we ask you to frustrate their evil plans, we also plead for mercy, that the confusion and shame we ask for may not lead to their destruction, but to correction, bringing them to repentance and transformation through your grace. With the same conviction as the psalmist in Psalm 70 verse 3, we declare, let them retreat in shame, those who mock me. Almighty God, we cry out for the complete defeat of those who pursue us with evil intent. Just as you brought down the walls of Jericho and defeated the enemy armies of Israel, we ask you to show your strength against every spirit of persecution that rises against us. Lord of hosts, we declare in the name of Jesus that those who seek our ruin will be confounded and humiliated, that their attempts to harm us will turn into a testimony of your protective power. Just as you turn Balaam's curses into blessings for your people, turn every attack against us into an opportunity to reveal your glory and faithfulness. God of justice, we ask that the traps set to capture us be turned against our pursuers, that those who dig a pit for us to fall into may fall into it themselves, not for our vengeance, but so they may recognize your power and repent. We declare that every tongue that rises against us in judgment, you will condemn as you promised. Holy Spirit, expose the works of darkness to your light, revealing and dismantling the hidden plans of those who plot our destruction through your power. Just as you confuse the builders of the Tower of Babel, confuse the strategies of our enemies, rendering their plans nothing but a futile attempt before your sovereign power. Beloved Father, we affirm with full conviction that with you by our side, no adversary will prevail. We declare that we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Every trap set against us will become a testimony of your protection and care. We believe that just as you delivered Daniel from the lion's den, you will deliver us from every snare of the enemy. Jesus, you who have overcome the world and all the powers of darkness, manifest that victory in our situation, that every assault of evil against us may turn into an opportunity to demonstrate your liberating power. We declare that no weapon forged against us will prosper, whether in the physical or spiritual realm. Lord, while we pray for the defeat of our persecutors, we also remember your command to love our enemies. Therefore, we ask that this defeat may not lead to their destruction, but to their redemption, that in their frustrated plans, our adversaries may be led to repentance and the knowledge of your truth. God of mercy, just as you used the persecution against the early church to spread the gospel, use the attempts to harm us to expand your kingdom. Turn every attack into a powerful testimony of your love and grace. May those who observe us see your protective hand over us and be drawn to you. Father, with hearts full of hope, we proclaim the words of Psalm 70 verse 4. Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say continually, Great is the Lord. God of all joy, we ask you to pour out your oil of gladness over all those who seek your face sincerely that each one who calls upon you now may experience a flood of heavenly joy that surpasses all understanding. Lord Jesus, you who came that we may have life and have it in abundance, manifest this fullness of life in every heart that turns to you, that those who trust in you 
even amid tribulations, may find a deep and unshakable contentment. We declare that those who wait on you will see your victory manifest in glorious and unexpected ways. Holy Spirit, you who are the Comforter, pour your balm of joy over the wounds of those who have been persecuted and oppressed, turning their mourning into dancing, their grief into joy. May every tear shed in prayer turn into seeds of joy that will grow into powerful testimonies of your faithfulness. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, just as you turn Job's lament into songs of praise, we ask that you transform the difficult circumstances of everyone seeking you into opportunities to celebrate your goodness. May the chains of oppression be broken, and may a symphony of praise rise from our hearts. Beloved Father, we declare that those who put their trust in you will never be put to shame. Just as you cause the Israelites to sing for joy after crossing the Red Sea, make your children today sing songs of victory as they overcome obstacles by your power. May every testimony of deliverance become a hymn of praise that echoes through generations. Lord hosts, we ask you to open the spiritual eyes of those who seek you, so they may see as Elisha did, that those who are with us are more than those who are against us. May this revelation bring an explosion of joy and unshakable confidence in your care and protection. Jesus, our eternal rock, we remember your promise that no one can snatch us out of your hand. May this certainty produce a deep and lasting joy in our hearts, a joy that the world cannot give nor take away. We declare that even amid life's storms, we find in you a refuge of peace and contentment. Spirit of God, quicken in us the awareness that we are more than conquerors in Christ. May this truth cause us to celebrate in advance the victories you have already secured, even before we see their full manifestation. Fill us with a contagious joy that draws others into the experience of your transforming love. Father of mercy, we pray that the joy we experience in you becomes a powerful testimony to those who do not yet know you, that as they see us celebrating amidst adversity, they will be drawn to know the source of our hope and joy. Glorious God, our Father, in this crucial moment of our spiritual battle, we lift our voices to exalt your holy name. Just as the psalmist declares in Psalm 70 verse 4, Great is the Lord we too proclaim your incomparable greatness. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jehovah Nissi, our banner of victory. We declare that your name is above every name in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. At your majesty, every knee will bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. We exalt you, O God, for you are higher than the heavens. Your glory is above all the earth. Almighty Father, we proclaim that your power is unlimited and your majesty unfathomable. No enemy can compare to you. No force of darkness can resist your command. Just as you parted the Red Sea and brought down the walls of Jericho, we declare that your salvation is certain and your victory is sure. Incontestable in our lives, Jesus Christ, Lion of the tribe of Judah, we exalt your name, which is like poured balm. You who conquered sin, death, and hell, reign sovereign over all creation. We declare that in your name, every spirit bows, every sickness bends, and every chain is broken. Holy Spirit, consuming fire, we praise you for your powerful presence that purifies, renews, and transforms. Your glory is like a mantle covering the earth, and your power is like a mighty wind that sweeps away all darkness. We exalt you, for where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Eternal God, we recognize that before the throne of your holiness, every enemy is defeated, and every evil strategy is undone. We proclaim that you are the God who works wonders, making your power known among the nations. There is no God like you, Lord, wonderful in holiness, awesome in glorious deeds, author of wonders, father of mercy. As we exalt your name, our faith strengthens and our confidence is renewed. 
we know that the victory was already secured at the cross of Calvary, and in Christ, we are more than conquerors. We declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, for you are our shield and protection, Lord of hosts. May your name be magnified throughout the earth, and may the ends of the world remember and turn to you, and may all the families of the nations worship you, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Almighty God, as we lift your name above every circumstance and challenge, we acknowledge that no situation is too great for you. Whether in the fiery furnace or the lion's den, you are the God who delivers and saves, who performs signs and wonders in the heavens and on the earth. Father, in this moment of spiritual battle, I bow before your throne of grace, acknowledging my complete fragility and dependence on you. As the psalmist declares in Psalm 70, verse 5, But I am poor and needy. Come quickly to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. Lord, do not delay. Lord, I confess that without you, I am nothing and can do nothing. Before the giants I face, I feel like David before Goliath, utterly dependent on your power and intervention. God of all mercy, I cry out to you, as a needy child cries to a father. I acknowledge that I am poor in spirit, needing your grace at every moment. The snares of the enemy surround me, dangers lurk at every corner, and only you, Lord, can guide me safely and protect me from all evil. Almighty God, as the widow of Zarephath depended entirely on you for her daily sustenance, I place myself in your hands trusting that you will supply all my needs according to your riches in glory. I do not trust in horses or chariots of war, but in the name of the Lord our God, Lord of hosts, I remember that you choose the weak to confound the strong and the foolish of this world to shame the wise. Therefore, I boast in my weakness so that your power may be perfected in me. May I, like John the Baptist, say, he must increase and I must decrease. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, mold me into your image. May I learn from you to be meek and humble, thus finding rest for my soul. Teach me that true greatness in your kingdom comes through service and humility. Spirit of God, constantly remind me that humility before you is the path to receiving your help and protection. May I have a broken and contrite heart that you will not despise. Like the Canaanite woman who is content with the crumbs from the master's table, may I be content with your grace, knowing that it is sufficient for me. Almighty God, at this critical moment, I renew my plea for your immediate and powerful intervention. As the psalmist implores in Psalm 70 verse 5, You are my help and my deliverer. Lord, do not delay. Heavenly Father, just as you responded swiftly when Daniel cried out from the lion's den, I ask that you hasten to my aid in this hour of urgent need. Lord of hosts, come quickly to my help. Let your mighty hand be stretched out against every force of darkness rising against me. Like the mighty wind on the day of Pentecost, may your spirit blow strongly, dispelling every cloud of oppression and instantly destroying the evil plans of my enemies. Jesus Christ, you who rebuke the winds and the sea, bringing great calm, Speak now your word of power over my situation. Command every storm of affliction to cease, and let every attack of the enemy be paralyzed. I declare that at the sound of your name, every oppressive force must retreat. Holy Spirit, as a consuming fire, we ask you to descend right now upon every situation of danger, every trap of the enemy, and every dark strategy. May your powerful presence instantly consume all that does not come from you, purifying and restoring every area of my life. Father of mercy, just as you freed Peter from prison by sending your angel to break his chains, send now your mighty angels to deliver me from all spiritual, emotional, and circumstantial prisons. May the chains be broken, the doors opened, and may I experience your supernatural deliverance at this very moment. God of Elisha, who opened the eyes of his servant to see the chariots of fire, open my spiritual eyes to behold your heavenly army fighting on my behalf. 
may I see and know that those who are with me are more numerous and powerful than those against me. Lord Jesus, you who promise to be with us until the end of the age, manifest your powerful presence right now. May every enemy be made a footstool for your feet, every mountain of difficulty cast into the sea, and every valley of affliction filled with your glory. Comforting Spirit, as I wait for the visible manifestation of divine deliverance, flood my being with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Strengthen me with power in my inner being, so I may stand firm, certain that victory has already been won on the cross. Eternal God, I fully trust that you are attentive to my cry. Your ears are not too heavy to hear, nor is your arm too short to save. I believe that even before I call, you have already prepared the answer. I declare that your deliverance is not delayed. Your salvation is on the way. Father, just as you acted swiftly to deliver the Israelites at the Red Sea, acting at the exact moment of need, I believe you will act decisively on my behalf. Your timing is perfect, your intervention precise. I wait expectantly for the powerful move of your hand, certain that I will experience your extraordinary deliverance. Beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, we have come to the end of this powerful journey of prayer and intercession. May every word spoken, every plea made, and every praise lifted be as pleasing incense before the throne of grace. As we close this precious time in your presence, we want to once again exalt your holy name. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the one who was, who is, and who is to come. We thank you, knowing that you have heard every word, every sigh of our hearts. Lord Jesus, we trust that by the power of your blood shed on the cross, every curse has been broken, every enemy defeated, and every strategy of darkness has been undone. We declare that we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Holy Spirit, we thank you for your constant presence and for the transforming power that works within us. May the fire ignited during this prayer continue to burn in our hearts, purifying us to live lives that glorify God. To all who participated in this prayer, remember, the God who heard David's cry, who delivered Daniel, and who parted the Red Sea is the same God who hears your prayers today. Stand firm in faith, confident that deliverance is on the way. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As you leave this moment of prayer, may you be strengthened, renewed, and filled with hope. Always remember, greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. The victory is certain, for it belongs to the Lord. May God bless you abundantly. May his face shine upon you and may he grant you peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Dear brothers and sisters, I hope this prayer has been a blessing in your lives. Don't forget to share this video with those who need a word of encouragement and deliverance. Subscribe to the channel for more content that builds your faith and draws you closer to God. May the grace and peace of the Lord be with you until we meet again. God bless you.